Okay, question number three asks us to find f dash x of this um, function here, uh, but it's in brackets. So in order to find f dash x, in order to differentiate it, we need each each term out. So we need to expand all the brackets, which we can do like a quadratic. So we're going to get three root x. We're going to get minus twenty one x. We're going to get x squared root x, which we'll worry about in a minute. And we're going to get minus 7x cubed. In order to differentiate these terms, we're going to need to have the terms as powers. So I'm going to rewrite these now in terms of fractional powers. Um, root x is x to the half, so that's 3x to the power of a half. The minus 21x is fine. This here, if we think about this for a second, we've got x squared times x to the power of a half. And when we times powers, when we times terms with the same base, we add the powers together. So that's going to be x to the power of two and a half, which I'm going to write as the top heavy fraction five over two, because then that's the easiest way to take one, move the power to the front and take one off the power when we come to differentiate. And the last term is fine. Okay, so we're now ready to, to um, differentiate term by term. So f dash x. To differentiate, as I said, we move the power to the front. So that's going to become 3 over 2. And we take 1 away from the power. So a half minus 1 is negative a half. For this one, because it's already just x, that's going to turn into just negative 21. Move the power to the front on this x to the power of 5 over 2. We're going to get 5 over 2 x. Take 1 off the power. It's going to go down to 3 over 2. And this one, power to the front, we're going to get 7 3s are 21. Take 1 off the power and turn it to x squared. I think you can leave your answer like that. There's no need to turn this into say um, 3 over 2 root x. You can if you want to, if you think it looks neater. Um, and again, this one you could write as uh, the cube, sorry, the, the square root of x cubed. But I, I really wouldn't waste your time doing that in an exam, unless it's specifically said to give your answers um, in third form. I think that you'd get all marks for that for that version and and just carry on.